Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into my first impressions, my thoughts on Scizor, Scyther, and to let you know if I think that you should be picking up this Pokemon. Now, here's the disclaimer, the caveat, this is a newer thing pretty much since Mew, but yes, Scizor is gem locked. It is going to be locked for, what, six more days, probably by the time you're watching this, for a week. And you can only buy it with 575 gems, which is real money. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way because I do get asked in various different places. I think this is bullshit. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it bluntly. This is terrible business practice. This is a, a surefire way of getting your players to not trust the devs. It's a, it's a terrible way to run a game that already has plenty and tons and, and is well monetized for a a free-to-play game. I don't think that you should try to force the FOMO, which is fear of missing out, um, on the players, and I just don't like it. So I definitely hope that Pokemon Unite decides to stop doing this and find a better way to incentivize people to play, to, to spend money and to pay money uh, for the game, like actually making the game good and lowering the skin costs so that way they're more affordable and not ridiculous. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about Scizor. So first and foremost, this Pokemon was absolutely a blast to play on the PTS, but you don't really get to play the PTS if you're in the States because it's just like super super laggy but my recollection from PTS was that Scizor was really really fun and that Scyther was just kind of like meh. Now the intended design is that when you hit level 5 you have an option to go either bullet punch or uh, dual wing beat and depending on which one you you choose is what evolution you stay or go to so if you do dual wing beat you stay as Scyther if you go to bullet punch you're gonna move on to Scizor. Now this is what I've been told, and I don't know how anybody could possibly confirm this, but apparently if you go to Scizor, Scizor might be bugged and is still retaining the stats of Scyther. So it feels, and I'm just going to get, I'm going to rip the bandaid off on this one. Scizor is really bad. Going bullet punch and playing a full game of Scizor feels useless. You do no damage. You're not very tanky. Uh, you do stick to people a little bit more, and I like the Unite move on it because it does alter the Unite move a little bit, but ultimately Scizor feels incredibly bad. I don't recommend taking bullet punch at all. I don't recommend picking up this Pokemon for Scizor, but that aside, and, and again, it may be bugged. Maybe that'll be fixed here in the near, near future. I don't really know, but that aside, Scyther feels so good. So, so fun to play. And like I said, depending on which path you take, Scyther is very much so a speedster. Very, very much so a speedster. And Scizor is supposed to be like the bulkier, kind of like sticky all-rounder that like dives the back line and kind of like can stick to a target and really focus them down while having some bulk. Scyther it's all about dual wing beat. You have the option to go, I think it's called double kick or something. You have the option to go like double kick or um, swords dance. And I think both of them are actually really, really fun. I, I'm kind of starting to lean a little bit more towards swords dance, surprisingly enough. And then dual wing beat. This is where the Mon shines. If you get a kill with dual wing beat, it resets your cooldowns. And you can just kind of continue to pop off and just blow targets up and have like a really nice team fight. But it does take a little bit of mechanical skill. So Scyther feels incredibly fun to play, has a lot of bursts. And I gotta say, as a jungler, because I do think this is a jungle Pokemon, I think that it's probably sitting somewhere between like A tier, like maybe high A tier or like mid A tier. It's really, really hard for me to say, but the Pokemon feels incredibly fun. So when it comes to picking up this Pokemon, I gotta say, I do think that Scyther is incredibly fun. It's definitely worth your purchase but again the caveat is that you either have to decide to wait six days seven days and buy it with like fourteen thousand gold which i'm pretty sure is confirmed uh, to be the price or to purchase it now so in terms of the gameplay i'm gonna say yes i think that this pokemon is worth getting now i can't tell you to spend money on it and obviously if you if you're limited on gold then you got to make a tough decision if you don't have everybody already but the pokemon is absolutely fun to play scissor you know luckily it's kind of like two pokemon built into one but we're just like locked to certain paths scissor not worth picking up at all like i don't even i don't even think you'll see me post much gameplay of scissor outside of maybe this video just to kind of illustrate uh, what it looks like and how it how it might feel i might even just post a gameplay just showing like i'm i'm trying my best i just can't do anything with it uh, but ultimately is not the best pokemon in the world and 
you know, to be completely honest, even though I think that Scyther is amazing, it's really, really fun, it has a ton of potential, could be really, really crazy, and I definitely think it's going to be really solid for solo queue. Not sure how it's going to do in a team setting, and it's definitely not, like, the best jungler in the game, I don't think. I think Delphox is incredibly strong in jungle. I think something like Absol is really, really good in jungle. I think um, Charizard is doing really, really good in jungle. And even Glaceon post-nerf is probably still just fine. So Scyther, it's definitely... Just really, really fun. The assassin style play style. Uh, I'm using a lot of damage items. I'm really starting to lean towards energy amplifier on it. I think that it has a lot of burst potential to like really kick off your fight and just try to pop off and get some of those resets because it's it's a lot like surf. Like you really want to use dual wing beat to to execute and just like get your cooldowns back and just kind of keep bouncing around. You're flipping off like players. You're bouncing all over the place. You're building up your um your little I don't even, I don't know what to call it. Like your your little charge with um, Swords Dance if you're using Swords Dance and then you're just continuing to like shred through everyone if you're in a good position so I really do enjoy playing this Pokemon I definitely think that it might be worth your time but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below not going to drag this one on any further uh, I think that Scyther Scizor is really really fun it's definitely worth the pickup if you enjoy playing the jungle position and if you're willing to pick up and learn Scyther and it's a lot of fun so let me know your thoughts. Like I said, drop a like on the video, subscribe for future Pokemon Unite content. It is going to be 14k, and unfortunately, they are, um, you know, locking it behind the gems, which I'm not a huge fan of. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, but that's also why I'm starting a boycott. And if you don't know anything about that, for the month of October, I will not be giving this game any money, which I don't really do that much anyways, but will not be giving the game any money, and I'm urging people to do the same. You can check out the link in the description for the tweet if you want to hear more about that. But... As always, friends, be sure to be kind of one another. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.